But Poole's young superstar Steve Halliday levelled it all up after half-time with a solo special. He had the beating of all the defenders. That was the end of the scoring, but not the end of the name-taking. But all they had to show was a Route 1 goal completed by Stephen Halliday. On the afternoon, he was their best player. But Stephen Halliday sealed it with a third as Hartlepool won at a canter. Derry's defence had a collective off day and goalkeeper Gary Kelly was absent without leave when Stephen Halliday lobbed home Hartlepool's second on 62 minutes. Hartlepool's first victory at Victoria Park for three months came against promotion contenders Chester. They took the lead with a quick break out of defence. Steve Halliday raced away to put them in front after just 16 minutes. Hartlepool came out on top in a bad-tempered game that frustrated Colchester's promotion hopes. Impressive Steve Halliday crashed Paul into an early lead. Stephen Halliday's second goal in as many games got Poole back on level terms five minutes before the break. Great control and an excellent finish from the highly rated 19-year-old. If Hartlepool fans had had their hands over their eyes, they can take them off now, just long enough to see the one bright moment provided by Steve Halliday. From the free kick, Poole romped away to steal the match. A great run from David Clegg, followed by an even better finish from Stephen Halliday. And Poole are back in the top three. Keith Houch inside staged a real fight back and substitute David Clegg created the chance for Steve Halliday to fire the equaliser. Sadly, Quakers player coach John McClelland broke his leg in the incident. Hartlepool ended a run of three successive defeats on another bad evening for managers at Victoria Park. Stephen Halliday gave them the lead with a great effort after a breakaway. And the home crowd was stunned when Kona Hislop's cross ended at Steve Halliday's feet and he smashed Hartlepool into a shock lead. And they weren't finished there. Scarborough got into a mess at the back and Halliday nipped in again to seal a famous win for Hartlepool and a remarkable start for caretaker boss Mick Tate. Pool have found the going tough lately, but they were up for the fight last night and levelled when Stephen Halliday controlled well and beat Lee Butler on his near post. In the last minute, Stephen Halliday kept his head to make the game safe. Four games to play, Pool now five points clear of the drop. Stephen Halliday poked home the third. But Hartlepool weren't to be denied their second goal and it was well worth waiting for. Remember that John Barnes strike for England in Brazil? Well, Stephen Halliday obviously does. The pool striker was taking on all comers as he danced his way to one of the goals of the season. Stephen Halliday has found it hard going this season, but there are times when you wonder what he's doing down in Division 3, and this was one of them. A great finish to level it up right on half-time.